If I had it my way, the summer would never end, but it's that time and it means going back to school and a lot of you have been asking me about good storage solutions for lunch because containers are tough to store, they're tough to clean, there are so many options. So this week I've parsed through everything and picked out the very best lunch solutions both for portability and storage just for you. Let's go. Two quick reminders before we get into the thick of things. If you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. And in case you're curious, all the links to the products I'm talking about in today's video will be in the description box down below. The old way of taking your lunch to school was wrangling a bunch of containers into a bag and somehow trying to make it look normal. The new way is to find these cool all-in-one lunch storage solutions. We've got a bento box, we've got a salad container, and we've got a collapsible double-decker container. These are genius. When I was shopping for these containers, they all warmed my heart and seriously made me wish I had these when I was growing up. The first one here is by Sistema. It's bento style. It's got a container for dips or dressing, and it has movable uh, dividers so that you can easily customize the box to fit whatever it is that you're making. The second one is also by Sistema, and it's a salad container. I don't know about you, but when I bring salad with me to work, I usually dump everything into a container and then it gets kind of soggy and gross, or I have like a million different containers and I'm whipping up a salad like I work at a Subway every day at lunch and then I have to schlep home all my containers. This is a real all-in-one solution. It even comes with a little dressing container and a fork and a knife. And this one over here is made by Smart Planet. It is a double-decker container made of silicone. The bottom half is collapsible, which makes it super easy to store. And I love silicone because it doesn't hold on to flavors or odors, and it is super easy to clean. This one also comes with a little dip container and a spork. Now let's talk about lunch bags. I remember I used to have this hideous red plastic lunch box. It was so ugly, mom, why did you do that to me? And today kids are so fortunate because the lunch bag options are endless and they're super smart. Take this one for example, this is by Pottery Barn Kids. It belongs to Summer who's a very lucky girl because this has a little pocket for a thermos because her mom's a great cook. And it also has, it fits perfectly a bento, and this is machine washable. So this is super convenient and easy for small hands to operate. And of course, it has a convenient carrying strap that she can carry around with her during the day. This one too is nice and sizable. It can accommodate any of those all-in-one lunch solutions that we just showed you. And it can also accommodate an ice pack, if that's something that you would like, a water container, fruits, and it's got this convenient carrying strap but I think the main feature of this one, of course, is the whale. I mean, come on. Since lunchtime snacks and sides are almost as important as what you're wearing to school each day, there are a lot of neat options that you can pick up to help accommodate the various snack requirements of your kids. These are little containers. This is made by Sistema and it's designed for breakfast. So if your kids love yogurt and fruit, uh, and you wanna separate it out so they can make a parfait, this container is designed for that. This little guy over here is great for small hands who wanna dip in and grab a snack <laughs> and might dump the cup over, but this little thing here prevents all of the snacks from falling out, so just imagine all of the goldfish lives you will be saving by using one of these, and this is made by Munchkin. Over here, this is by Smart Planet, and again, it's this collapsible product where you can separate out three different types of snacks so that nothing touches each other, nothing gets the other thing soggy. Kids definitely will be very happy with this. It is light, it's easy to store, and honestly, if I got one of these, I'd be probably the second coolest kid in the class. And finally, we've got this, which is a portable cutlery set. And honestly, for kids and adults alike, this thing rocks because right now I am bringing metal forks and knives to work with me and it clinks around and it's heavy and the knife cuts the bag sometimes, all kinds of drama. This is great because it comes with a fork, a knife, a spoon, and chopsticks. With the advent of literalist lunches and that whole movement to use less waste whenever you're packing your kids' lunch, drinking containers have not been left in the dust. Take this for example, it's called Drink in the Box, and it is a portable 
reusable juice box. So it's a huge money savings. Juice boxes are so expensive and they're really wasteful. This is portable, it's dishwasher safe, kind of genius. And then this here, I've just learned this is Sophia the uh, First. Didn't know about her before like 30 seconds ago, but apparently she's a big deal, which will probably get your kids to drink more. That's exciting. I'm sure there's a male equivalent somewhere. And this is dishwasher safe, easy for kids to carry around and refill during the day. You can use it for water, you can use it for juice. The point is you want your kids drinking and you want them not throwing stuff out. So here are two great options. The irony of me standing beside my very robust liquor cabinet while I'm talking about your kids' lunches is not lost on me. That being said, let's talk about containers and I'll deal with that later. When it comes to storing containers, there are a few different ways that you can do it. I have a big comment about container storage, which I will get to in a moment. But for now, the way I like to store my containers is I store the base on the bottom, then I seal it with the lid, of course, when it's dry, and then I stack that way. So it's easy for me to pull out the container exactly as I need it without having to fish around for all the components. However, if you like doing it that way, this is a really good rack that you can pick up. It's a lid or plate rack. Store your lids from biggest to smallest so they're easy to find. And then this here is a stacking shelf. So you can obviously stack containers both on the top and on the bottom. But the real issue with containers is that you guys probably, maybe, I don't know, you should probably check, have too many. Now, a lot of people think they need a lot of containers, but I'm gonna show you that you probably don't. Case in point, the stuff that we just talked about, those all-in-one lunch solutions, as far as I'm concerned, they eliminate the need for all of those excess containers. So what I would recommend that you do is to go into your container cupboard, which I'm sure if you open it, a lot of containers will fall out or it's really hard to find a match in there anyway and sort through what you need and what you don't need. If you have those flimsy, lightweight containers, you know what brand I'm talking about, you can probably get rid of those. Then if you have any stained, scratched, or smelly kind of old containers, you can probably ditch those as well. Keep the ones that you need and you use on a regular basis, and of course make room for those smart storage solutions that we just reviewed. But again, you guys gotta get out of the mindset that you need a million containers to feel good about yourselves. You don't. I also find that people, when they set up their containers and they, they think, oh yeah, today I made over my container cover. And then it looks all organized and everything's nested. And then three days later, it doesn't look like that anymore. That's because as far as I'm concerned, that's not a reasonable way to store your containers. So the idea here is to slim it down, make it easier for yourself and your family. It wouldn't be a clean my space video if I didn't teach you how to clean something. So let's talk about how to clean all of these different containers and materials. They're quite easy to clean, and of course, if you clean them every day after lunch, you really kind of only need one, which is genius and makes storage way easier. See previous point. But if you do need to clean these, which you obviously will every day, you could either pop them in the dishwasher. Top rack is best. If you put them on the bottom, they might melt, and nobody wants a meltdown. You can also use warm, soapy water if you plan to hand wash them. Now, if there's anything hardened on or a stain, add a little bit of baking soda to the mix and scrub with a cleaning toothbrush. And that cleaning toothbrush is also great to get in any of those gross areas, like where the hinges are, if there's any you know, mustard or something nasty over there. So that's pretty easy to take care of. Cleaning water bottles is also important, and if your kid loves Sophia the First so much, maybe she'll clean the water bottle herself. Probably not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The easiest way to clean this, again, is to just fill it with warm soapy water, give it a quick shake. You can get one of these bottle and straw brush cleaners. I got this one at the dollar store, and you can scrub the inside of the bottle. And then, of course, to clean the straw, which is something so many of you guys ask, you pick up sort of the smaller one, and you can pop it in and clean that way. Again, a little bit of warm soapy water, give it a rinse, and you're good to go. Lunch bags definitely need TLC probably more frequently than you're willing to consider. That being said, we do have a video on how to clean them. I will link that for you down below. Always remember to check the care label. Yes, even your lunch bags come with them because some of these materials are not machine washable or need to be treated in a certain way. But lunch bags can tend to get smelly and even can get like some mold and mildew happening in there. So you do wanna make sure that these are taken care of on a regular basis. 
Even though I'm not a mom, I get the mechanics of what makes sense for a good lunch container and of course, how to store it and how to clean it. And remember, I have had 34 years of lunch eating experience under my belt, so I think I have something to contribute to the conversation. I hope this has helped you make really good decisions about how to pack your kids' lunches this year. And hey, if you don't have kids, maybe you can up your lunch game. I mean, that whale lunchbox, you're gonna get a promotion. This week's comic question is, what was your favorite thing to eat when you were growing up for lunch? I have to say, when I got a fruit by the foot in my lunch bag, man, nothing else mattered. That was a good day. Let me know your favorite lunch item in the comments down below. If you wanna see what I'm up to during the rest of the week, aside from making lunches, which I do seven days a week, you can find me on Instagram and Snapchat. I am at Melissa Maker. The guy who still eats like he's in third grade, I mean, peanut butter and jam for lunch or bologna and cheese on white bread, he is at the Chad Reynolds and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Well, it's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. And over here, I have two of our back to school videos covering all kinds of topics that I think are really important for you to take into consideration before you head back to the book place. Remember, if you haven't done so, visit our website. It's cleanmyspace.com. We've got cleaning articles, tips, tricks, product reviews, and celebrity interviews. I know they talk about cleaning. And you can also sign up for our newsletter, The Dirty Dish. It's free, it comes once a month, and you're gonna love it. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next week.